We're packing for OmegaCon. Here we go. We need that. Okay. And we need that. Okay. And we need that. Okay. And we need that. Oh, we need two of those. We need those. Obviously. Here, take this box. Are we there yet? Nope. That's only about 1% of it. So first up, we got American Mythology Dark. Werewolves versus dinosaurs. The art in this book is really pretty. Now, it's werewolves versus dinosaurs. If that sounds like something you want, you should go for this. If that sounds dumb, there's really not much in this book that will change your mind, but it's still cool. Very there, painterly. There may or not be aliens or demons, I don't know which. There's people with a glowing orb, whatever that means. And I've got Kingsway West. It's a magic uh, Western crossover. But if that doesn't do it for you, it's kind of like Manifest Destiny. There's bounty hunters. I like the art. This is actually really good. If you're looking for something new this week, I recommend that. Ooh, it's Greg Pack of uh, Planet Hulk fame. Oh, is it? We ran out really fast of number one, and just in time for number two, we've got Rom, Space Knight, one and two of the new series. It's gonna be a huge part of Revolution, which strings together the Micronauts, the Transformers, and the G.I. Joes all in one universe. If you're tired of reading Black Beetle and there's no such thing as Red Beetle, try Blue Beetle. Do you like Jaime Ramirez or Ted Kord? Well, you I can love get both of them. You can get both in this book. I don't this have is, to choose. This is the Blue Beetle Rebirth issue one. Just the rebirth. He's already rebirthed, but now he gets to really get the ball rolling on his own series. We got Deathstroke number one. That other book was good, but I also really liked Lake of Fire this week from Image Comics. So it's kind of like that movie, uh, Cowboys and Aliens, except the cowboys are medieval people. So don't think fantasy, because it's not like wizards and dragons and stuff. It's like realistic medieval times, except with aliens, if that makes any sense. This book was actually really cool. My boy Max Bemis and Michael Walsh bring us X-Men, worst X-Men ever. This book is really funny. It's also really endearing. Um, it's one of the better X-Men titles I've read that doesn't require a wealth of knowledge. It's just really, really fun from an X-Men universe that can sometimes be really, really heavy. Yeah, that's actually one of the better reads I've read in like six months. Did, did you read the last issue? Yeah. So it starts out one way and then it goes totally dark. And Hellblazer is back with new number one. And for those of you that are missing Swamp Thing like myself, there's plenty of Swamp Thing in this issue. Back in print this week, if you want some old school X-Men goodness, we got the uh, paperback of X-Men Extinction Agenda. Yup, it was that storyline. And for fans of All-Star Section 8, they're back this week, or at least two of them are, with Six Pack and Dog Welder. In case you're wondering what Dog Welder does, what his power is, yes, he welds dogs. And it says it's hard traveling heroes. In pop news, we got Krillin and Trunks from Dragon Ball Z. You've also got Scott Pilgrim from Scott Pilgrim and Conor McGregor from UFC. And last but not least, I got the Rocketeer at War. That's right, the Rocketeer is back. If you've only seen the Disney movie, it's a little different than you think. It's kind of pulpy. It may or his girlfriend may or may not be Betty Page. It's awesome. Hey, Nerd IQ Review, I'm gonna put up a review this week of Star Wars Aftermath Part 2 Life Dead. To find out what all those words mean, check out Nerd IQ Review and follow me at Nerd IQ Review. Bye, everybody. All right. Oh, hey, do you have any Planet Hulk, Planet Hulk or World War Hulk uh, we, trades in the shop? I think we do have Planet Hulk, oh, actually. Okay. Planet World, Hulk's not out of print. What about World War Hulk? Uh, that's out of print. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, so many unanswered questions. Don't mock the Hasbroverse. You're being you're being real salty. The, ha like the Hasbroverse. The Hasbroverse. Has yes, it's the the it's more of a Universal movie thing than it is an IDW thing. Have you actually read it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I thought he was from the McGregor verse, which crosses over with the Hasbro Symphony, and the. Well, what do you call the universe that Strawberry Shortcake and Smurfs are in? Come on. I thought you're you're the one that wants to shoot these things fast, dude. <laughs> but you guys hit me with the the Hasbroverse.